Hey, this is Dancing Rabbit with Shango and Ra, and welcome to another Saturday Pagan Perspective. This week's topic is Prayer and Offering. I define prayer as talking to God, and it seemed like I did an awful lot of talking to God back when I was a Christian. So basically what I'd like to do tonight is to compare and contrast prayer that I knew as a Christian with prayer as a pagan. When I was a kid, I had uh, my dad led me in bedtime prayer almost every night. You know, the, now I lay me down to sleep, which when you think about it is kind of a morbid sort of a prayer to be leading a little kid in. I don't do that anymore. And I don't do morning prayers either, which was pretty common when I was a teenager as a fundamentalist that I'd wake up maybe a half hour before I really had to get up to go to school and I'd spend that time in prayer and Bible study. Don't do that anymore. Meal blessings. As a kid we did grace or prayers before meals, probably Thanksgiving and maybe Christmas. It wasn't a usual thing. And it isn't a usual thing with us now either as pagans. When I'm asked to lead a, a uh, a prayer at a meal, and I, I can't quite get out of it, I either lead a modified version of the Philmont Grace for life, for opportunity, for friendship, and fellowship. We offer our thanks, which is just about as generic as you can get, or I lapse into Hungarian and offer the Seke Blessing. Hol hit, hol seretet. Hol seretet, hol beke. Hol beke, hol aldash. Hol aldash, hol ishten. Hol ishten, hol sukken nishken. Which loosely translates, where there is faith, there is love. Where there is love, there is peace. Where there is peace, there is blessing. Where there is blessing, there is God. Where there is God, there is all we need. One of the main kinds of prayer that I practiced as a Christian was confession. Now, not confession in the Catholic sense of going to the priest, but confession in the sense of going direct to God to apologize for whatever things I felt guilty about. Because, see, you could sin by not just stuff that you did, but by stuff you said and even stuff you thought. So there was lots of stuff to feel guilty about. I don't believe in sin anymore. I don't believe that we can go to a deity and ask forgiveness for something that we've done to a person. I think what we need to do is accept responsibility for our actions and if we've harmed or hurt someone, we ought to go to them and apologize and, if it's appropriate, make restitution. But it does no good at all to go to a deity and beg for forgiveness. So I don't do that anymore. Now, about prayer and spell work, or works of magic, I think that in some ways they accomplish the same sorts of ends, but I don't think that they are the same at all. When I was praying and asking God for something, I was asking God to do something for me. When I do a work of magic, I may invoke one of the deities, 
but I'm asking for their help and assistance to help me do something. I'm doing various symbolic actions to shift my consciousness, raise power, and direct it toward a goal, which is quite different from what I did when I was praying as a Christian. So I don't really do petitionary prayer. I don't go to Caridwen or Kernonos and ask them for something or ask them to do something. Though I may ask them for strength, may ask them to live in me and through me and allow me to do something or do a better job of it. As a Christian, I spent a lot of time in intercessory prayer. There were times that I had prayer lists of friends and relatives that I thought needed praying for or that I knew some situation they were in and I felt like that I should pray for them about it. Now, I realize that a couple of the hosts on Pagan Perspective have said that they still do this sort of prayer or they don't really see any harm in it. And I really don't disagree with them. I don't think they're doing something wrong. It's just not something I do for a couple of reasons. To me, it's a little bit like casting a spell for someone without their permission or knowledge. It sort of violates their free will, kind of. The other thing is responsibility. I think that we should take responsibility for our own destiny. And it's really difficult, maybe impossible, to take responsibility for someone else. And I think that's kind of what I would be doing if I prayed for someone. I would be doing something that really they ought to be doing. I know that as a Christian we would have these massive prayer chains where the object was to get as many people as possible all pestering God to do the same thing. To heal someone that was sick or get somebody out of some mess that they were in. And looking back it seems kind of strange that we were talking to an omniscient being that already knew all this stuff and that somehow if we could be like little children and keep pestering and begging that somehow it would it would up our chances of getting it. I feel like I've grown up a little since those days. The kind of prayer that I guess I most do as a pagan would be called invocation where I'm calling on one of the deities, one of the gods or goddesses to come into the circle where I'm working, whether it's alone or with my wife or with the groups that we've worked with. I'm not so much calling a deity to me as recognizing the deity's already there. Because I believe in imminent deity. I don't believe the gods are off on some other plane of existence and we have to call them to us as if we could call them to us like uh, calling a dog. I think that probably calling one of the gods would be a lot like calling a Basenji. They would just sort of look at us, uh, okay, what do you want? No, I don't think so. i am got other stuff to do right now. Um, I think it's more like you're in a room with some friends and then you turn to one of them and acknowledge their presence and speak directly to them. I'd like to share a couple of invocations. This one is to uh, Kernanos. By the flame that burneth bright, O horned one, I call your name into the night. Thee I invoke by moonlit sea, by standing stone and twisting tree. Eldest of gods, on thee I call, blessings be on thy creatures all. And this one, to invoke Caridwen. Lunar mistress, sweet and mild, I am your priest and still your child. Enter here on this your night, and bless the working of this rite. Caridwen, I seek your presence by my side. Anyway, till next time, this is Dancing Rabbit, with Shango and Ra. Wishing you peace.